Good morning, YouTube ladies. Hello, how are ya? Anyway, just wanted to do a quick update. Um, you know, I was like, Meh, because I somehow snagged the hell. If you see my ring, it's six prongs, and look at how they're bent. They're supposed to be equally spaced. I do not even remember snagging my hand that hard on anything. Sorry, I'm about to drop my phone. I have a button, but we fight. What can I say? Anyway, um, yesterday it was bugging me, and I kept thinking the only place that I had caught the ring at all, and it wasn't even that hard of a tug, was on my comforter on my bed, like the strings and the threading in the comforter, and also on the mosquito veiling. Those of you who've seen my bed know I have the mosquito netting, which I got from Kirkland's, I believe, a long time ago. Kind of like a Bombay Trader type store. Love it. I have taken it from house to house to house forever. Um, I put it on the four, four poster bed. It wasn't really designed for that bed, but it does stretch enough that I can put it up there and those top little pieces on my bed. Actually, that look like little totems. They actually screw over the top of the little loops that are under here on these screws, so it worked out perfectly. Ignore my schmog. <laughs> Apparently that's the head wrap type Middle Eastern deal that JC got me. That's in another video. Haven't edited that one yet. Anyway, I am a happy girl today because yesterday it was bugging me so bad and I just got out of the hospital and I put the hospital video up. I went Christmas night. Didn't even get to eat any of the food that I cooked. Whole plate of food looked so good. Couldn't touch a bite of it. I was puking. I was sick as a dog. Ended up going to the hospital Christmas night. They actually admitted me and kept me two days. So I just got out yesterday afternoon, um, which was Thursday, because uh, it's Friday now. I just got out on Thursday. And feeling much, much better now. I'm actually doing laundry and like mopping and cleaning and vacuuming and everything that I normally cannot do when I have high blood pressure and am pukey, nasty sick. So. Anyway, it was bugging me so badly, and somebody was like, oh, you should go home and vacuum, and maybe you'll find your stone. And I kept thinking, well, no, I don't think that's going to work because the vacuum, first of all, I have a Dyson, which I love, love, love. It's the old yellow model, the first one they came out with. It's like 300 and something dollars. But I shone a flashlight, an LED light, underneath my bed, even though JC had done it the other day for like 20 minutes straight, and I managed to find the stone. It was literally... And let me not drop it down the sink because the sink is right in front of me. Um, I'm going to have to, I'm going to, I have jewelry tools. I'm going to see if I can put the stone back in myself. If I can't put it back in myself to the jeweler we go. But I really don't want to pay another 75 bucks to have to have it reset if I can help it. But let's try to carefully do it. I have a whole set of jewelry tools. I used to do jewelry making at the market a long time ago. But as I was saying, it was at the very foot of my bed underneath, like just at the edge underneath where the bottom railing of the bed is so he did look diligently the other day and like I said even though this is a it's very hard for me to hold this up where I can show it let me see it is a 5.3 carat topaz and people have mentioned the ring bling past videos okay that's 5.3 carats it is about the size of it's it's tall it's a very tall stone but it's about the size of my pinky nail it's a big stone, but I have big hands and I got big knuckles, so I needed a big stone. Anyway, people have asked me about it in the past. Basically, it's a ring that I built because my, ignore my junkie counter, but you can see it right there. Next to my finger, that is about how big it is. Anyway, um, people have asked me about this before. I built the ring way back in 2008. I had a very, very... That's my birthstone. It's November's birthstone, a yellow topaz. I chose to go with that because I wanted a big stone. I like the antique looks of rings, like estate rings and things like that. So I wanted a big stone. Um, but I didn't want to pay crazy amounts for like some diamond or some crazy stone. And even my first wedding band set, it was a small well, diamond in the center, solitaire, but it was wrapped with sapphires. So I've always tried to have rings that are different. Um, if you look back at older videos, the ring that I have from Mr. JC is actually a $34 ring 
that's got real silver and it's antique silver and the band you know is like scrolled all the way around and it has a mega stone that makes this one look like a little pink drop in the pond um that one actually is um let me see if i can find it real quick okay it is not where i thought it would be which is in my little keepsake box which of course has a scorpion on it almost everything i own does even my bowling balls i know another spot to look though so hang on ha ha girl's gotta have her hidey holes i actually have it bagged up and I'm going to put it in my little special keepsake box now that I found it because I had it in one of my jewelry drawers. Oh dear, they're all tangled together. All right, let me see if I can show you this. I'm out of the bag. Cooperate. This is another impromptu gen video, so you know how that goes, y'all. Okay, this is the off, off, off first ring that Mr. JC ever bought me. It is a, um, I believe it is like a smoky quartz in the center. And then it's um, got white quartz all the way around it. So this is the very, very first ring he bought me like really early on when we were dating. Like I want to say month one or two or somewhere in there. Later, when we went out to look for wedding rings... I chose a very unusual ring. We're both into medieval things and dragons and all that. And if you look at the sides of this ring, it reminded me of a row of teeth on a dragon. And it has that on both sides. Let's see up close there. The phone is actually focusing pretty well. It's got some flowers and in, like leaves and petals engraved around it. We got this at a store that sells antiques down in Ybor City in Tampa, which is spelled Y-B-O-R for those who are wondering. The only reason I don't wear this on my right hand anymore is because if you can see, I'm really rough on jewelry. I cracked a piece of the silver. It's a split back ring, which I love because I, if your hand swells or something, you can adjust it or you can put it on really easily, but bending it you know, in and out all the time, I actually had it changed into a split ring but at my jeweler, but um, bending it in and out all the time, taking it on and off, uh, because this one's quite a bit bigger than the other stone. If you look at the setting for this one, and you look at that sucker, this one would probably be, I would imagine a, I'm guessing, I'm not that much of a jewelry girl, probably a 12 carat ring. I don't know, it's very big, the stone goes all the way down and it's, you can actually see the stone through the bottom there. But this is pure silver, and just so you know, you don't have to pay a lot for, um, hang on, sorry, my nose is running, Ooh, sorry, I almost knocked the whole thing off the counter. You don't have to pay a lot to get a really cool ring, and another thing I like about it, which I don't know if you can see it on the camera very well, it changes color, and like I was telling you about the whole dragon thing, if you look at it from the center, it almost looks like you're looking into the eye of something. Kind of hard to show in this light but you can see the purples there a little bit but as this stone moves around this is called a mystic quartz and as it moves around it actually changes to all kinds of purples and rose colors and pinks and yellows and golds it's a really cool stone it's very orange looking actually from a distance but it's not showing well in this light sorry um, i'd have to go outside with it which i'm, I'm being a lazy bitch right now <laughs> But anyway, this stone was, I mean, this whole ring with real silver, this is solid silver, was $34. You don't have to pay a lot to get a cool ring. So I wanted something different. It wasn't about the money to me. I don't need to have a huge big diamond on my hand. I just needed something that I thought would be a cool looking ring. And as you can see, it's a very, very big ring. But it fits my, my what do you call it, my demanding quota of it needs to look like an estate piece of jewelry. That means, you know, something old antique type thing. So if I can get this bad boy up here next to my topaz, which I'm when I built this topaz, it was because in 2008 when I married my second husband, yep, I'm that bitch, <laughs> um, I gave him a very rare topaz that was a root beer colored one called an imperial topaz which you really can't find it's very hard to find i gave him that stone and asked him to make a ring he took it to a jeweler 
to have it resized after he'd given me the ring back and it was beautiful. And they heated it. You're not supposed to heat topaz. It takes the color out of it. It literally changes the color. I got the biggest clear stone when I got it back. So I was pissed. I had to argue with the jeweler because they should have known better. They assured me they weren't going to leave the stone in when they heated the jewel, the, you know, the gold to resize the ring. And they did. So after threatening to sue and going through months and months, finally I was able to get them to give me this band, which is a diamond band. Um, I don't know the settings. I think it's called a channel set. Then I had to go to my jeweler and have these prongs put on. There were no prongs on it. Had to have the prongs built. Had to have a stone ordered. Trying not to drop it again. Which is a 5.3 carat topaz. The stone I lost was a 5.5. Okay, this stone cost me $2,600. Yeah, the money was building up. So by the time I got done with this whole ring, all together the value of it even though they traded this to me the value of the total thing is almost seven thousand dollars so you can clearly see why I was a little upset because your girl don't buy jewelry like that I don't roll like that and neither does my budget but you can clearly see the difference in the size of the ring from Mr. JC when we were married to this stone over here so this one I wear on my left hand because it's my birthstone and this one I usually wear on my right hand but I just am not wearing it currently because like I said I cracked the um silver a little bit on the side so anyway that is the story of the ring bling for those who have asked sorry about the mic noise because I'm picking it up but um hang on one second can I ever make a video without my mother getting into it all right sorry she came to my door so I had to stop for a second because she was I got the hospital over here is St. Joseph's and I will say they're extremely good on follow-up about after you get discharged they'll send you an email they'll send you a text message they'll send you your electronic discharge instructions um, they'll send you someone will call you I've even had the actual ER physician call me and say how are you doing ma'am I just want to check and make sure you're feeling okay today has your symptoms come back I mean it's crazy they're almost like too much over the top but that was their automated system calling just to make sure that I didn't need any further follow-up or anything Pardon the crazy top blue knot, but Mr. JC thought it would be a good idea to run his fingers through my hair last night while we were watching movies. Well, when you have curly hair, mm-mm, bruh, that ain't something you do because you end up looking like buckwheat. <laughs> so, thus I have the blue top knot going on today instead of actually doing something with my hair. Hmm. Anyway, I did decide not to be a lazy bitch and bring that ring out here to show you guys the colors that are on it. So here I am in the sun sweating. So I'm going to go and let this video be at its conclusion because my nose is itching, which happens in every video. Every video I notice I'm like rubbing my nose or my face. I don't know what the deal is. It's be subconscious thing. But anyway, like and subscribe, guys, and I will see you on the next video. Hope you get some good information about purchasing jewelry and ring bling and all that stuff because you don't have to spend a lot of money. You just have to like what you're wearing on your hand. And honestly, if you like it, other people will like it. Bye.